y'all welcome back to a new vlog it is your girl period so that i'm new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are in the kitchen i honestly i don't think i've ever shown y'all my kitchen or at least if you guys have seen me in my kitchen so here we are today it's sunday i'm trying to talk to y'all oh um i'm trying to talk to y'all but i don't want to bend over and talk to y'all like i want to be able to stand up and i feel like y'all can't see anyway bitch it's sunday i am about to make some food well, i'm just making some shrimp um and i'm in the middle of a wig review that's why i got this wig thrown on my head like this it's another one of those glueless wigs listen i don't know if you're in this content world space baby but if you're black and you got two hands to put a wig on <laughs> These companies are just throwing these glueless wigs around the world, okay? You get a glueless wig, you get a glueless wig, you get a glueless wig, baby. If everybody is not promoting a glueless wig, baby, you need to jump on the train and make a little bit of money. So I know there's been like a small delay in my videos. Well, the vlog before this one is sponsored and I had to wait for the equipment to come for me to do the video. Um, and it just came here today. So that's why you guys haven't gotten a vlog in like 10 days. I don't know when the last time I posted on my channel, girl, I don't know. So um, that's why there's such a delay, but the equipment came today. You guys will see it. It is an exercise bike. I'm really excited. It's like a <sighs> generic Peloton. I get Peloton, is it a Peloton? You know what I'm talking about. Which I'm like really excited about. Why? I just really want to expand my sponsorship reach. Um, and I know that sounds crazy, but like, I just don't want to be known for just reviewing hair and like perfume and stuff. Like I'm really trying to step out the box when it comes to what I promote on my channel. I want to be able to show that I can do more than what I'm doing. Be able to open that to reach for me. If you get it, you get it. So I'm kind of excited about this one. Um, I haven't put it together fully yet. It's still in the box. So we might do it behind the scenes there. She was just in the background. I don't know if y'all can see it, the, the previous clips. Trying to show off her Roblox character. And she's like, oh, I just want them to see your Roblox character. That no, want that. <sighs> I need to get my Instagram on a pop. My Instagram is so sad. And the thing with Instagram for me is, it's hard for me to be consistent because I can only really like, like versus vlogging, like I can wake up and turn the camera on and post it on YouTube. But with Instagram, you know, I gotta be going out somewhere. I gotta have an outfit on. And it's hard for me to just do that. Typically I'll do it if I'm going somewhere or if I, I'm, I'm going out somewhere, but for the time that I'm not going out nowhere, girl, my Instagram be abandoned. And it's not to say that I don't go nowhere, but damn, like every time I go somewhere, I don't be feeling the need to take a picture. I just don't. And it's hard for me to be consistent with Instagram but i need to be consistent with instagram like i need to because i'm starting to get like instagram sponsored which typically i don't do i'm not saying i won't do it like i have some hair content that's only instagram based that's not youtube based so other than that I don't necessarily do like instagram ads but i have been getting a lot of offers recently and i'm like oh wow like but my goal is to get 80 pictures 80 instagram pictures uploaded on my instagram by the end of the year 80 and i'm like damn i can really do that i mean i know it seems easy like you just put on an outfit and taking a picture but baby it, it's a lot more than that um it's a lot more than that and i'm not a professional at taking pictures i really am not so i need to order me some lights um i'm trying to be like what's her name talitha jane that's her name baby she be very dedicated to her photos i be seeing her all the time posted up in the middle of nowhere taking photos all the time and it's like wow like you can tell the creators that are more of an instagrammer tiktoker and then you have the creators that are like youtubers it's like it's such a different space and it's easy for her to make that short form content and have it popping baby i cannot keep up <laughs> I cannot keep up. I am used to the long form vlog. That's just what I'm used to. And you know, it pays me well, so I'm not complaining, but 
yeah i need to get more on form with the short form content you know it's just it's really a struggle out here y'all it really is it's a little too much for me child but we gotta figure it out you know we gotta keep up with the wave so we can stay relevant i guess people go as far as like planning outfits for their pictures and it's like i'm not there yet but we're gonna get there we're gonna get there okay we're gonna get there i just gotta be more consistent um but i do got some reels coming out and i do have a it's not really a well, well, I guess you could say it's kind of sponsored, but this vibrator company reached out. They wanted me to pretty much talk about their new vibrating ring. Let me show y'all. This is the Mude Mude. So now can y'all see that? Mude vibrating ring for men. So prior to this, they actually sent me another PR package. This was like, I don't know, six months ago when it came with a vibrator. Um, it did have like the charge of the cord. I got like a bath oil. They had gave me some wipes, like some bath salts. Um, and I must say, like, I really enjoyed their products, you know? So they reached out again, was like, hey, we have a male thing coming out. Are you interested in, you know, showing Instagram? So I was like, sure. And so this is what it is. And that goes around their Wuha. It's pretty much a, a vibrating cock ring. It goes up to five speeds. So personally, have we tried it? Yes. Um, does he like it? No. I don't know if this is vibrating hard. Like this is really, really hard. Yeah, you know, to each is on, to each is on. It's available, I will have their information down below if you're interested, if you have a guy that likes vibrating cock rings, you know where to go. So I am back, um, I finished my wig review. Um, I'm gonna go edit it right now, which I really don't wanna do, but we gotta get our work done, so I'm getting ready to do that. My stomach is killing me, you guys. Um, today is the 10th, by the way, September 10th. Tomorrow is 9-11, wow. Yes, tomorrow is 9-11. Interesting, I don't know why I just thought about that. My period is about to come on. I can just tell, I just feel really like, uh, my stomach hurt. It's just, I can tell when it's that time of the month. Anywho, I got a package in the mail. I'm so excited. Um, they did reach out to me and sent me this beautiful, beautiful 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 chanel bags they do um focus a lot on like replica items so this is obviously a replica of the original bag but baby i think they did a wonderful job with this bag this bag does retail for 550 dollars on their website but when i say it's worth it it is so worth it i think they did such a great job with this bag i'm so excited i've been wanting to open it but i said i was gonna do it on camera with the dust bag it comes in a dust bag and then you also get the little like um you have like receipts and stuff they give you all an authenticity card oh, wow i didn't even know that hold on Okay, so you do get your receipts in the bag, which I do like. It just gives you an overall view of the price. I think the price, because it says $26,800, but that's in China currency. I don't know how farther off that is from us, but for US dollars, the bag is $550. Okay, you do get this pamphlet here. It comes with another Chanel card. And then, you get a bag you actually get a bag inside this is cute this is something i can keep for items and then this stuff comes in a dust bag this is the bag i think this is so cute so this is a medium chanel double flap bag this is the medium size they clearly have the bigger size and then they have the mini as well but i think this bag is absolutely gorgeous it does have the gold hardware on it it does have oh it has a tag on the bag this bag is so pretty you guys i'm gonna take 
this plastic stuff off it does have the gold hardware and i must say like the material is very 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 thick um so you know it's not going anywhere and i'm just i love chanel i just love chanel i like their bags it's very timeless classy i am a big chanel girl like i get the hype take the wrap off and this is so cute y'all oh my goodness so beautiful once you open it it does have the zipper right here i mean they did a really good job i mean honestly this is the the exact same bag you do have the zipper on the top you do have that extra flap right here as you can see you do have the double flap and then inside there is two little pockets right here and then you get that it's just a lot going on i think they constructed this bag real well they do have the chanel logo on the flap this bag is so cute so so cute i love the gold hardware they did a wonderful 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 job with this bag i'm upset i'm gonna make a little instagram reel with this unit i am gonna have their information tagged and if you follow me on instagram you need to be following me on instagram um, i'm gonna tag their instagram below they have a variety of different parts that you can get ysl gucci i definitely want to indulge in a ysl bag but i'm just i'm a chanel girl i'm a chanel girl i just love love this bag and the chain you can wear crossbody you can wear regular it's gorgeous even has the pocket in the back. So, cute. Be sure to check the description box below so you can get one of your own. Like I said, they will have a variety of options if you are interested. Hey y'all. Um, It's the next day. I don't think I talked to y'all since yesterday. Now to be very transparent, this may be like a lot of like at home, Situations. I'm trying to get more acclimated to talking to y'all while I'm in the house because typically I don't like to vlog unless I'm like out the house. I don't know why. Um, but anywho, hey y'all, it is Monday. Today is 9-11. Shout out and rest up to everyone who lost their lives during this terrible, terrible tragedy. Um, I have <sighs> been some going through it. Let me tell you what the fuck I got going on, bitch okay um i'm kind of behind on sponsorships i'm behind on sponsorships bitch i got this i told y'all about this bite that i got i gotta go i still haven't set that up yet i just did a wig review right and let me tell you how these hoes try to get to you and let me tell you why this is a real job and this is not just no simple shit okay i'm going back and forth with this brand about this wig video they sent me a 26 inch glueless fucking wig in the description because they Every time you get a fucking wig, they tell you what they want, like blah, 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 blah. We want you to lift the wig up in the video. We want you to flip the wig over your head, whatever. They tell you the things that they want you to do. And they specifically said, don't use no spray, don't use no glue. Wear a glue list, show it out in the motherfucking package, show that it's easy to install. Cool, no problem. I, I did everything. They wanted a TikTok, they wanted all this extra shit, so I did everything right. They come back and tell me, we don't like the video. Now... I've had this happen to me twice this month. So that's why I'm a little fucking irritated. Normally this is not the case, but I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just gotten ugly. Maybe just they don't like what the fuck I'm doing. But they came back to me twice, two different people and said, we don't like the video. One of them was an Instagram video. And so Instagram videos are a lot easier to edit, edit. I wasn't complaining, whatever, cool. The This one is a YouTube video. And so with YouTube, it is a lot more complicated. It's not a lot more complicated, but it's a lot longer. And so if I do make edits to a video, I have to export the video all over again. It's a lot more of a fucking process for YouTube. So this brand that I'm collaborating with on YouTube was like, hey, we don't like the video, yada, yada, yada. Can you refilm it? And so personally, I don't refilm shit. I don't, I, I make edits. You know, if there's ever a genuine mistake or if there's something they don't like, I have no problem making an edit. But when it comes to refilming an entire video, you're going to pay me. 
okay you're going to fucking pay me and so that was all i was doing last night was cussing this brand i was going back and forth about the damn video they asked for this i make edits to the video to try to satisfy them they still ain't satisfied and then you had such stipulations behind wear glueless wig don't put glue don't put spray i'm like if y'all truly want that look that melted look sis you're going to need to use products i don't put filters on my fucking videos if you see there's a lot of bitches on instagram promoting wigs and they be filtered the fuck up i am not that bitch i don't like filters i like my videos to look very crisp very clean and very very clear so it is very much going to show the line on my forehead with these glueless wigs now i do my best to conceal it with like foundation and stuff but most of the time it's understandable most of the time it, it plays no fact today i had to refilm the entire video best believe they paid me i had to refilm the entire fucking video and i didn't even refilm the whole thing i just put the wig back on i used my spray my melting ebn spray bitch this is the wig by the way and um call it what it is you know whatever call it glueless call it not i don't give a fuck but that has been my entire day was getting that video filmed and edited so we can get this shit over with and i can get my money that's what i've been doing all day so that did push back this bike that i need to go ahead and take care of i have some more things on the way i have two more wigs on the way and i have this wax machine thingy that's on the way girl it's a lot it's a lot it is a lot it is going on maybe nine o'clock right now i can't see um and i'm just now like getting done editing the video sending it off to them and you know typically with these chinese people they be available at night when we going to sleep so i'm curious to know how this night is gonna play out because if they come back and tell me they don't like this video i did today i'm going the fuck off losing my mind i'm like y'all not gonna play with me y'all not gonna play with me and it holds me back because i have other wigs that i need to fucking take care of and if you if i'm stuck on one wig trying to satisfy you nah you wasting my time and you really fucking playing me you really fucking playing me you really fucking playing me so that was my day it was very very frustrating um but i'm getting ready to eat i know making tacos neve is in the tub um she did go to school today everything was fine um yeah hey y'all today is thursday i think i talked to y'all on tuesday i'm still in the house bitch okay this is gonna be a very much in the house vlog today is thursday and i decided to pick up the camera because oh i have a lot of work to do like i thought this would be kind of a cool thing to show you guys what exactly i do for work now full disclosure i don't do this every day okay typically i have to maybe typically i have a day like this once a week it is a very busy day for me as far as getting work done and i thought it would be cool to kind of just go over that with you guys if you guys are interested or just show you what i do now that i ain't got no job no more like you know no more nine to five this is how I make my living now. So I woke up this morning and I had answered some emails. I have to edit a integration into a vlog. I have not posted a vlog in like two weeks, I think. Um, and this is why, because I'm pushing off this video. So I really have to sit here and edit this part of the sponsorship, get it off to them and hope they approve it. I really have to sit down and get this done. It is 11 o'clock. <sighs> Oh my god i was supposed to start at like nine so yes i need to get this edited send it off to the brand i need to edit the vlog that this is going into because i haven't even done that yet i have a hair review video that needs to go live i'm probably posted around three o'clock so that's something i have to work on and then i have to film two videos today i have to film two videos today because i'm a little behind on these hair review hair review so i have to film two videos today i'm going to try my best to get them edited today um and yeah yeah so that is pretty much my day and like i said every single day of the week it is not like this for me um but yeah there's typically one day out the week where i'm glued to the computer editing videos trying to get stuff approved answering emails you know like as always my life is surrounded by emails so um that's typically what i do um so 
yeah so we're gonna start this editing process let me show you guys because by this time okay so you see i'm kind of going through all of this footage oh my god i want to do i have to edit the footage and then i'm going to talk over it with like a voiceover or whatever um and this is it really doesn't take a long time but you know you got angles and you you know we just got to make it work so that is what is on the agenda i'm going to try to get this done as soon as possible okay that means i got to sit down and be completely focused on the computer i can't be on my phone lollygagging and all this stuff um and then i am waiting on a way to be delivered today actually so yeah bro it's a lot it's a lot okay three minutes long and it took me an hour yeah it took me like an hour and a half to get this done so i'm getting ready to export this and then i'm going to send this off to the brand once i get done with that i'm going to take just a tiny break um because i, I need to start washing y'all like i am so behind on laundry i'm going to take all these clothes sort them out get them situated so that i can start laundry soon um and then I'm going to take one of these wigs that I have and start to bleach the knot and wash that real quick because I'm going to install that later on. Um, but once this is done, I'm going to pull up the footage for the vlog that is going in because I still have to edit that vlog. Oh my God. So I'm going to somehow work into that. But um, yeah. Okay, I separated my clothes, girl. And how I got a package at the door okay we got a pr package from milk makeup we, let's open this together because i'm excited yo oh my god they sent me a whole bunch of shit Ooh. maybe they sent me a new primer and i told them i needed one hey look at that Period. And we got lip and cheek. Pretty. This is in the shade work. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Oh my God, they have a new primer. Oh. This is a little watery. Oh, this smells so good. This is the Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. Period. Mmm. This smells just like shea butter. Excuse how I look. I know I look crazy, y'all. This is it on my pinky. Wow, this smells literally just like shea butter. Like. <laughs> This shea butter. Another cheek blush thing. This is in the shade Quickie. We have the Kush Brow Lamination Gel. 
This is in the shade Hybrid. Black. Oh no, it's clear, y'all. It's a clear gel. Period. I have their Rise Mascara. I desperately need a new mascara. It is hard for me to buy mascara, y'all. I don't know why I will use my mascara till it is dry to the bone, baby. I just, it's so hard for me to buy mascara. I don't know why. Oh, this is cute. I have the Milk Makeup Eyeliner. This is their eyeliner. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know Milk had all these mascaras. Excuse me. Two. Real shiny. Two. But one is full size and one is the travel size one. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Milk Makeup, for sending that over. All right, y'all. So I forgot to mention during all of that chaos that I did put a new video out. It is live. Make sure y'all check it out. Um, and I, every time I post a new video, I post it, I play it on my TV. Girl, I look crazy. I gotta go. I'm literally like late picking up the mail. But, um, I have to stop what I'm doing. Go and, well, one of us gotta stay home. That's why he can't go. I mean, one of us gotta stay home. I don't know. I might stay home and he might go get her. Because I have something on the way and I'm afraid that if I leave the house and they come to my house, I'm gonna be pissed if I miss my package. And I need to go to Publix because I need laundry detergent to wash my clothes. Yeah, they're gonna love it now. Period! So I always, every time I post a new video, I play it. That's just how I get my wash time. If you know, you know. And then I'm gonna try to get this vlog edited and then I'm gonna try to knock out two wig reviews today. Because tomorrow's the weekend and I'm gonna start a new vlog and I don't know what the weekend's gonna entail, but I would like to start the weekend off knowing that I don't have to do anything, okay? So that is why it's so much going on today. All right, hey y'all, I just made it home. I don't know why. Girl, I look so damn dark. Anywho, I just made it home. I got some Publix chicken. Yeah, I got some Publix chicken. I went and got some detergent so we can wash. Um, but then I came home to another package from Life Stance. I do have a sponsorship with them, but it is another wax warmer company i believe they're on amazon but yeah um my wig from what i'm being told is right around the corner so um i made it back just in time and yeah i'm about to go back to editing this video oh my god i got my wig okay hey y'all so it is now 5 40 in the afternoon i just got done editing the vlog that goes to the sponsorship this vlog is only 10 minutes long y'all and i do want to apologize in advance um i thought i had more footage i went to every nook and cranny to see if i had extra footage i really really don't this is a really really a sad beautiful vlog but it's done um and i'm satisfied um so oh jesus so the next thing on the list is to get two hair reviews knocked out today typically i would not do this okay i would wait <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead since i'm already on a roll today knock these two hair review out hair review out um the i can do the review it's 5 41 i'll probably be done doing both of them by like eight o'clock and that's really pushing it it may not even take that long but then i'm gonna have to sit and edit both of these videos and then i'm still in the middle of washing clothes so yeah that's the vibe i'm about to get myself together now we're finishing this vlog it's exporting we're done um next on the agenda is to do my makeup real quick and start this week hey y'all so it is 6 54 i told myself i will be ready to go at seven o'clock i'm giving myself one hour to do two hair reviews um and yeah so that is what is going on right now and i am like really ready to be done with this um so yeah so it is now 7 40 i have finished this wig i just have to do the last part talk in a video yada 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 um this one's from arabella hair love this hair um i've never worked with arabella before but this is a very very good quality curly hair this is like raw indian 
you going on an expensive vacation, baby, you need some nice curly hair, baby, this would be that type of hair, okay? Y'all make sure y'all check out the review, but this one was nice. I'm just laying my edges down. And yes, this was a 10 out of 10. Then the next one I have, this baby here, I'm gluing her on. Okay, this one here, I'm gluing her on. This one is from ZFS Hair. I don't know why I'm telling y'all this. Y'all gonna see the review anyway. But baby, this is such a beautiful wig. It's such a beautiful color. I'm about to pluck it a little bit while I'm waiting for this to settle down. Um, and then this one, baby, she's getting glued down. She's getting glued down. This one is very, very nice. It's 9.55 at night. I just got done filming the second wig review like 10 minutes ago. I'm tired and I'm very frustrated. Um, I'm just, I'm very frustrated right now, but um, I'm almost not editing the first video. We're almost a 10 and it's not bad. I mean, I'm, I, I would rather be done by now, but I thought it would be out a little bit later. So the first video is just about done. I'm about to start editing the second video. Um, I'll say like 10.30. Honestly, I'll be done with both and then I will finally be done for the day. All right, you guys, it is 12.32 at night. I have successfully finished my work day, okay? I have sent over all the videos I need to send over. I have edited everything I need to edit. I'm pretty much set in stone for like the next week, okay? So I feel so accomplished, but I am tired. So I will be ending this vlog here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped. I hope this was enjoyable, okay? I'm just trying to keep it consistent. Um, I will see y'all in the next vlog. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. See you later.